Kevin with the Wonder Electrician. And I'm Shane with Monkey and Around. And I'm like all jacked up in this camera over here. You ain't even hard enough to see. Well, no, it's good, Kenny. Let me see. And I'm Shane with Monkey and Around. Together, we're the Wondering Monkey. And it's time for week two of our gear pick of the week. Tonight, because we're going to release them in the evening, tonight we're going to talk about hammock straps. Both of us have almost the exact same thing, but both of us have different, you know, different types, different brand names. Go with mine first. Mine are match the hammock. They are winter outfitters. Match the hammock. Well, they same brand. Now, now we're color coordinating going down the river. No, put a different color. All right. So these are the winter straps, and I've been using them since since I uh, well since I got started hammock camping. And what they are is just like half the rest of them, most of the rest of them. And they're triple stitched. But at the top, they have, uh, I'm hoping it shows up on this one. It will. He's talking to his camera. <laughs> <laughs> or so, maybe me, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, they're triple stitched, and they have the loops at the top, and you just wrap it around the tree. Yeah, because it ain't going to show up on one of them. I know, I'm hoping not. So you just wrap it around the tree, stick it back through there, pull it tight, like so. And uh, I did that completely wrong. <laughs> ah, yeah, you went in the wrong side. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you wrap this in around the tree. You take the single loop. The single loop around the tree. Bring it through there like that. And then you have all these adjustments, about one every what, like six, four inches? Mm, something like that. Something like that to bring your hammock into. So uh, they're triple stitched. They're 10 feet long, which gives me with a 10 foot hammock. 10 foot of strap, depending on the size of the trees, is anywhere between what 25, 20, 25 feet, depending on the size of the tree. You good? I'm good. My turn? You're good. All right. So, I'm going to talk about my hammock straps, and I just got them for Christmas. I haven't actually took them on a trip yet. I pulled them out, I hung them up. I like what I've, what I've got so far. But I've got the Wolf Yoke hammock straps. Now these were only. Um, I like saying that wolf yoke. It's like wolf yoke. Uh, <laughs> can I? Can I finish? Mine were only about seventeen bucks, I think. We'll put the link below so you know for sure. Um, These are twelve feet. Yeah, I got some long ones. Plus, mine come. Mm, look at you. With two nifty little carabiners. Two nifty little carabiners. Also comes in a little stuff sack. And of course mine's the same as his, except mine are much longer. Two feet longer. Mine are 12 foot hammock straps. Mine are 10. So that gives me two foot on each side. So I'm four foot longer than he is. But just like as you can yeah, see. Foot shorter. Just like you can see on his, you've got um Stitching with loops. My loops are a little closer. My loops are only about two inches apart. Something along those lines. And um, <clears throat> just like with his, take the big loop, wrap it around your tree, the, the single loop, run it through, and then you've got all the extra excess down here. Um, Which actually, I, th I use to adjust. I use that with my, hand, uh, my underfoot on. Yeah, no. now I hook my underquilt to the bottom of my hammock straps. And then I, uh, um, typically I'll like hang something underneath my straps. Now that these are long enough, depending on how far apart my trees are, I might could run them back and forth under me and hook something else underneath it. If I got a dry box or something to hang and get off the ground. But 
I got mine just recently. Like I said, they were I think they were sixteen ninety nine or seventeen ninety nine on Amazon. They'll be on the Wonder Monkeys page. So uh, um, his is Winter, mine's Wolf Yoke. I guess that's how you say it. Wolf Yoke. I've got some. I've got a Wolf Yoke dry bag too, and so far their products have been have been good. I mean, they're not name brand. They're not big box store brand hammock straps, but the Wolf Yoke are pretty good. Mine are 12 foot, and as you can tell, they've stitched it on there. 12 <laughs> so foot you know. <laughs> with 700 pound weight capacity, so you know. Um, <laughs> I don't think me and my gear in there would be 700 pounds. But either way, Wolf Yoke hammock straps, Winter Outfitters hammock straps, um, both of them are good. Mine comes with a little couple carabiners that his doesn't. Now let's. Uh... Mine's 10, his is 12. Mine's better. Mm -hmm. Always. So, uh, so we use hammock straps. I know a lot of people use what whoopee slings and. Uh, There's and other the, stuff out there, like my the, hammock. The toggles and. I well, mean, my I hammock just know. come with rope. I uh, see so now. My hammock just come with rope, so that's the way I hung it for a while until I found out about hammock straps, and then I was like, oh, that's a different ball game. That's a game changer right there. Well. I don't know. I just don't see anything being much easier than this, and I'm sure we'll be told that there is. So, and that's okay because if you tell me that there's a different way, that's fine. Maybe there is a different way. And, well, there's a more expensive uh, way. That also means, absolutely. That also means you're watching the video, so that's fine by me too. Give me a thumbs up. Yeah, like and subscribe. <laughs> Even if you don't like what we're saying, like subscribe. But so far, last week we talked about our hammock. We did. Thirty bucks. Some straps. Twenty dollars. So hammock straps and a hammock for under fifty bucks. We've, we've not even got close to some of those name brand hammocks on price. And you've still got a little money left over to uh, um, you know, buy something else off the Winter Monkey store. Yeah. Hey, so Wolf Yoke, Winter Outfitters, check us out, like and subscribe, get out there and get your paddles wet. And until next time, we're going to talk about another piece of gear. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Get the peanut butter, dog.